Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the Interview Training Company, PassMyInterview.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass a leadership interview, and in particular, we're going to focus on leadership competencies, interview questions, and answers. Now, it does not matter what kind of leadership interview you have coming up, you are going to be assessed against a number of competencies. So within this tutorial, I'm going to tell you what those competencies are and then provide you with some sample interview questions and solid answers to make sure you pass. So please do watch it from beginning to end. Now, before I get into those tips, the questions and answers, a very warm welcome to this tutorial. As I say, my name is Richard McMunn. That's me there in the centre. I've been helping people for many years to pass their interviews. I love doing it. I'm very passionate about it. I used to work as a fire officer for about 17 years and I was involved in the creation and assessment of competencies. So please do watch this video from beginning to end because I'm going to give you some high scoring leadership competencies answers to those all important questions. As always, please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you're not going to miss out on any of the weekly tutorials that I create. And also, I would very, very much appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Um, thank you very much. Okay, an important tip to make sure that you pass your leadership interview. Now, competencies that you will be assessed against, they are a set of assessable skills, qualities and attributes, and they ensure that you can perform the leadership and management role to the necessary standard. OK, so you have to provide strong, solid responses to them. So when attending any form of leadership competency interview, it is absolutely vital you not only identify the competencies that are being assessed, but that you also provide solid evidence based answers of how you match each and every one of them. So in preparation for your interview, make sure you get a copy of the job description and the person specification and have a look at the competencies. Now, the more common type of leadership competencies include being able to manage and lead people, an absolute obvious one. So you are able to lead, manage and motivate and inspire a team to be the best that they can be. Delegation is another core leadership competency, and that's the skill of allocating tasks to key individual team members based on their strengths and their abilities. You obviously have to be an effective communicator. So being able to communicate effectively, both verbally and also in writing with team members, with the senior management team and also external clients and stakeholders. A couple more decision-making skills. So you have to be capable of making tough and difficult decisions. You have to be a good negotiator and be able to persuade individuals to work towards your goals and objectives. And finally, two more before we come onto those questions. Emotional intelligence, which is using the appropriate levels of empathy when needed, and also interpersonal skills, being able to communicate and take the appropriate action when dealing with a variety of individuals and teams from diverse situations and backgrounds. So let's explore a number of competency, um, leadership competency interview questions and those all important strong answers that I believe will score very highly during any, any leadership interview. Question number one. Tell me about a time at work when something went wrong and you took control. So this is assessing your ability to lead, to manage, to take responsibility and also make effective decisions. But there is also the competency of problem solving in there too. So they're all inter intertwined. So tell me about a time at work when something went wrong and you took control. Here we go. I was working on a project with four other team members and I felt the project deadlines were in danger of being missed. Having analysed the project timelines and the milestone target dates that had been set, it was becoming apparent to me that we were going to miss them because a small number of team members were not, in my opinion, doing the work they were supposed to. I decided to take control as I was passionate about the project and I knew the consequences would not be good if we failed to deliver the project on time. I called a team meeting and I expressed my concerns in an open and positive manner. I used facts to explain my concerns and also suggested a plan of action for getting things back on track. Now, without identifying specific individuals who were at fault, I focused the suggested plan of action on the wider team efforts and made sure we all took responsibility for the project moving forward. Although it was an awkward meeting, everyone agreed to my plan and after four weeks of hard work, we managed to get the project over the finishing line and to the required standard. Now, that's a great answer that anybody could use. Um, it's in-depth. It uses the STAR technique of situation, task, action, result. And you have taken responsibility. But more importantly, you've identified that there's an issue. 
and you've taken control of it. So that's a great answer. And by the way, I'll tell you where you can download these answers and, and the questions as well as we progress through the tutorial. Next question, describe the toughest team you've ever managed. Why were they so difficult to manage? And what did you do to turn things around? So here's my suggested answer. I joined a team a few years ago whilst working for a new and innovative organization. A team had been put in place who were all full of fresh ideas and talent, and it was my job to manage the team towards achieving the organization's objectives. The team was particularly difficult to manage because there were so many intelligent, enthusiastic and innovative people who all wanted to lead the team in their own direction. Now, whilst I did not want to stifle creativeness or hunger, I had to take control and lead the team towards my own goals and my own objectives. Now, I achieved this by initially holding meetings both at the start of the week and also towards the end. I set clear meeting objectives each time we met and I held each person accountable for their specific roles. And by spending time with each team member twice a week, I was eventually able to establish full control of the team and ensure that we were all working towards my own agenda. I feel I have the correct qualities and leadership attributes to lead the most difficult of teams and I would never shy away from a difficult leadership challenge whenever it presents itself. So another real solid answer to that question that demonstrates that you can take control and you can manage a tough team. Next question, how would you develop a team to get the most out of them? So this is assessing your leadership and your management abilities, also being able to delegate tasks responsibly. So here's my suggested answer. I would develop the team by using a four-stage process. Stage one would involve clearly defining the organizational objectives and where I needed the team to be within a set period of time. Stage two would involve conducting appraisals of each team member to identify their strengths, their weaknesses, their career aspirations, and what they needed from me in order to achieve the organizational objectives. Stage three would involve providing appropriate training, guidance and support to help the team achieve their goals and objectives. Finally, the next stage would involve a periodic review process to look at what we have learned as a team from the actions we have taken in order to allow us to continually improve and develop collectively. So that is a great answer that shows that you know exactly what you're going to do. Now, I'm going to go on to another question in a second, so please stick around. But if you look at that link right there in the top right hand corner, if you click that link, it will take you to my website where you can download a full set of the leadership competencies interview questions and full answers to help you pass your interview and I promise you if you download them they will make a significant difference to your performance at the interview. Next question. Describe a time when you delegated effectively. So delegation skills is one particular leadership competency and here's my suggested answer. In a previous role I was managing a team of people who had a wide range of skills, qualities and experience. I was tasked by my senior director to manage an important office move that was due to take place in two weeks' time. Basically, the office was moving to a new larger office the other side of town. I started off by creating a plan of what needed to be done. I identified four specific areas I would need to delegate. The four areas were, number one, the logistical move itself, number two, the IT infrastructure crossover, number three, the communications aspect of letting all clients know that we would be unavailable on the day of the move, and finally, number four, the updating of all records, data and information with our new contact and address details. I then set about deciding which team members had the most appropriate skills to deliver each task professionally and accurately. I then held an intense meeting with all four members and laid down clear objectives of what needed to be done and by what time frame. Each team member then went away and reported back to me once the task was complete. I feel the best way to delegate effectively is to create a clear plan of action and to delegate tasks based on individuals who have the highest levels of competence within your team. A great response. It's situational based, so you're given a specific answer. Now don't forget, uh, click the link directly below the video to find out more about getting a copy of all of these and other leadership competencies, interview questions and answers, or you go to the website passmyinterview.com. Um, I sincerely hope you've found that useful. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, I'll put my LinkedIn address in the description below the video. Um, thank you very much for watching. I genuinely hope you pass your leadership interview. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful day. All the best.